I'm Drew Binsky and I'm gonna show you what $10 can get you in Mexico City with a mask on. La Ciudad de Mexico, a city that I've always wanted to visit but never really made the effort. Why? I'm not really sure, to be honest. I have managed to visit several of Mexico's coastal towns but never the biggest city in all of the Americas. Nowadays, with COVID-19 restrictions, Mexico is one of 15 countries that are accepting US passport holders, so I've decided to make the journey down and I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. So behind me is the Bellas Artes, which means beautiful arts, and it's absolutely stunning. It makes me feel like I'm back in Europe. I'm totally overwhelmed with things to do, foods to taste, and people to meet inside this thriving cosmopolitan city that's wrapped up in the charm of its colonial past. Can a city get any better than this? 10 US dollars is about 220 Mexican pesos. It's time to see how many things I can get. We are having here like a tacos de canasta. It's like a very typical dish from Mexico City. So basically it's like a small tortilla full of grease and then you put inside beans or potato, uh, meat and chicharrón pork skin. And it's cheap, right? Yeah, it's really cheap. Alberto, are you hungry? <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, he's hungry? Okay, let's get some food. Tacos de canasta, which literally means basket tacos, are exactly what you think they are. Authentic Mexican street food tacos that are cooked and steamed in a large basket. Ask him how many years he's been like cooking this. Uh, 21 years. 21 years. Wow. So for his six pesos each, which is 24 pesos, which is a dollar, a dollar for this plate of grease tacos. It's so greasy and slimy. Oh man. Is that ice cream? I quickly found out that sound is not the ice cream man. It's a guy cranking out a tune on his organ, famously known as an organillero. You give a tip, he plays a song. It's as simple and awesome as that. We headed to Centro Historico, or the heart of the city, into the notorious Zocalo Plaza. It has been a popular gathering place for Mexicans since Aztec times over 700 years ago, and it's the world's third largest city square behind Tiananmen Square in China and Imam Square in Iran. Somehow, I am more impressed with Zocalo because it's absolutely empty due to COVID-19. I think this is the first and only time that I'll be the only tourist here in the plaza, but it's beautiful. The first thing that caught my eye are the shoe shiners, so I had to give it a try. Ugh. Miguel. Miguel. Shoe shining became popular in the wake of the Mexican Revolution a hundred years ago when the city saw an influx of migrants in search of work. They can still be found scattered around the city and they do a pretty good job at cleaning every part of your shoe for about a dollar. It's like new. Muchas gracias. Honestly speaking, I've never had cleaner shoes in my life. They're like fresh off the shelf clean. One could say that Mexico City is full of sounds. We've already heard the organ player, and now I hear a guy playing a very distinct whistle sound who has an awesome souvenir shop. We found our way to La Ciudadela, which is a traditional market that specializes in all kinds of Mexican handcrafts and folk art. And I'm gonna find the most local thing I can get. Colorful skulls emerged as a symbol of Mexico through the annual celebration called Day of the Dead. They are pretty neat and much cheaper than I thought. 25? Okay. Por favor. To keep our energy flowing, we stopped by a small coffee shop and I was not disappointed. Here we have Café de Olla, which is a Mexican coffee that is served in this beautiful pot and it is made with cinnamon and raw dark sugar called piloncillo. It's so good because it's so sweet, but it's not, it doesn't feel like you just poured a bunch of sugar packets in it. It just feels really naturally sweet. Mexico City is quickly becoming one of my favorite food destinations in the world. With over 20 million residents, the diversity of options has far exceeded my expectations and I just can't get enough.
Little taco shops can be found on every corner, but some of the ingredients might have you at the edge of your seat. Camila, what's on the menu here? There's wild pig, there's deer, tacos, and there's like a lot of box. We're gonna get some grasshopper tacos, which are apparently really popular and famous to eat. And they don't sound that great, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be better than they sound. Guacamole, grasshoppers, Oaxacan cheese, and spicy sauce. Wrap it all together, and there you have it. It's not as bad as you would think, and the grasshoppers actually give it a nice crunch. To cap off an amazing day, we found one of the best desserts in Mexico City, churros. This place called El Moro is the most famous spot and it's been around for 85 years. Oh yeah. Here goes nothing. Mmm. Oh my god. In total, I got basket tacos, an organ show, a shoe shine, a flute souvenir, a colorful skull, a Mexican coffee, grasshopper tacos, and a churro for $9.97. And that's what $10 can get you in Mexico City. See you later. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.